Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to show you how to push a software project up to an existing Bitbucket repository. Now, as you can see here, I've got a little web application with an HTML page, a JavaScript file, and CSS file, and I want all of that up on Bitbucket. Now, in order to do that, I first need to have a repository on Bitbucket that can take it. So I'm going to create a new repository here called example website, make it the part of the fun with Bitbucket project, and then finally click this button, create repository. That will create the Bitbucket repository that I will use. As soon as it's created, the thing I want to do is click this clone button. I'm not going to do a clone, but I do need this Bitbucket URL right here. So I'm going to copy that Bitbucket URL, everything except the git clone part of it, close that, and then head over to my local software project. Now, this project here isn't part of git yet, so I need to open up the git bash shell, and in this folder, issue a little git init command. As soon as I do this, a new hidden dot git folder will be created. Well, it's not that hidden because you can actually see it right there, but that demonstrates the fact that, well, I have now initialized a git repository in this file system here. Now, if I do a git status command, it's actually gonna tell me that these files are not tracked, so I can fix that. I just do a git add dot, which adds them to the index. If I do a git status command, well, Git's still not happy. It says I haven't committed those. I'm not afraid of commitment, so I'll do a commit message here. And now if I do a Git status, my local Git repository says everything is clean, everything is committed. And if you wanna send all of this up to a Bitbucket repository somewhere in the cloud, we'll go right ahead. But there's actually a step that I have to perform first in order to do that. Now, I'm gonna do a little Control L here to clear the screen. I need to add a reference from my local repository to the Bitbucket repository in the cloud. So I go git remote add Bitbucket, and then I paste in that Bitbucket URL that I copied a moment earlier. Maybe I can widen that so it can all go on one line there. I'll click enter, and now that adds a reference from my local repository to the Bitbucket repository. However, it doesn't push anything up there. If you actually do a little refresh here, you'll notice that none of the files on my local file system have made it up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a push. So I'll do a git push dash u dash f where to Bitbucket. A lot of times people call that origin, but I just like to give it the name of the server. Which branch am I gonna push? Well, I'm currently on the master branch. So this all looks good. I'll click enter, and boom, all of a sudden we have pushed all of those files on my local file system up to Bitbucket. Don't believe me? Well, it doesn't look like it over here, but that's because I got to do a little refresh operation. And when I refresh, notice that all of the files on my local file system have now been moved up to Bitbucket. May have to expand that to see the files in full, index, script, and style. And those are the same files as I've got over here, index, script, and style. Now, here's the other cool thing. If you want, you can always actually add files over on Bitbucket, and more likely another developer will have pushed their changes to Bitbucket. So let's create an about HTML file. Click commit up on Bitbucket. And then all of a sudden, I now have a server that is out of sync with my local system. I've got the about file over here. This is up on the cloud. However, there is no about file over in my local repository. So how do you fix that? Well, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to your local repository and say, hey, I wanna pull all of those changes from Bitbucket. So git pull, keep your eye on the website folder in the top left and enter and boom. All of a sudden, we will now pull down 
that about.html file. And now I'm actually in sync with Bit, the Bitbucket cloud service on my local machine. And I can do this all day, push and pull to that existing Bitbucket repository. It's not a problem. And so there you go. That's how easy it is to push your software project to an existing Bitbucket repository. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We got lots of great tutorials on Git, Bitbucket, DevOps tools, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And why don't you Bitbucket people subscribe on the YouTube?